The key to a successful project is having the time to plan it well. So from the outset, you get all of the ducks in a row. The recipe for a successful project is probably collaboration and a, and a one team environment between all parties. Look, I think as the value of the project and the complexity of the project um, increases, certainly the external assistance that is required, uh, the imperative for that goes up. Look, the key ingredient for a successful project is always the management team and the people that you have around the management team in terms of the board, the governance structure and the experts that you bring in. So banks may look like they just bank the bricks and mortar, but they actually don't. They bank the people. The people are really sort of the crux of how that cash is going to be managed, which will actually fund the project or repay any finance on it. As project managers, we see ourselves as a client's expert advocate. So it's our responsibility to take all the moving parts and try and make sense of them so that a client does have confidence about where their project is heading and where it will end up. So we deal with lots of moving parts. We deal with time, we deal with cost, we deal with quality and scope, we deal with the legislative requirements for a project, we deal with planning and risk management. These are all things that uh, we deal with as project managers. So we have a heavy responsibility, but we find that when we have a good relationship with our clients who, want, who are invested in the projects, that uh, that responsibility is something that we enjoy and we delight in seeing a project that not only looks good and feels good, but that's had a really solid planning process and a solid execution. You know, our experience at, uh, at Oxford Falls is we certainly wouldn't take on any significant projects without uh, a team on our side that's able to, you know, has the industry experience and specialty knowledge to be able to challenge and keep the builder accountable. I, I think what makes CPM a, a good uh, project management firm is um, their, their personal touch, like you can, you can relate to them. And whenever, we, whenever they conduct a, a side meeting, they engage the, the client, they've got all the architects, got everybody on board, there's no grey areas, the expectations are usually put there in black and white from the, from the start, so you know, you know what they expect of you, and, and we're happy with that. We first worked with EPM, I think about five years ago now, when they were brought into a really complex project that we were already involved with. So they were a late addition to the team, and really it's been a fantastic experience of them um, corralling the client, all of the design team, and galvanising everyone into a common purpose around this very complex project. And since then we've worked with EPM's project managers, I think on three other projects now, and each one of them has actually been very delightful, I must say. I think EPM had a great interest in schools, like they're actually passionate about schools and achieving great outcomes for schools. So it's not just so clinical of, well, you're just another client. Our initial connection with EPM, they came to the project where we did have some problems and they were able to give us some solutions that, to be honest, other planners at the time weren't able to provide. So I found um, they're very solutions focused, very good to work with, and um, you know we look forward to completing this project and getting a great outcome. So Cranbrook uh, first had a relationship with EPM uh, on a project that uh, was running about nine years ago, about 2012. It wasn't running as smoothly as a school would have liked, uh, and engaged EPM to assist them to, to finish the project. Since that time, EPM has uh, maintained its relationship with Cranbrook to the point now where they were engaged with the project managers uh, for the master plan two project that we're doing at the moment. Uh, in terms of their, the people that they have on the project, uh, they've certainly been approachable, uh, very knowledgeable, uh, and we are delivering a very, very successful project. Having a project manager involved will save money in the long run because the, of that second guessing functionality that they provide. It's not just about risk management, but it's also about ensuring that you don't miss the opportunities that are there that otherwise won't present themselves to you because you're not an expert in that field. So involving people who understand how 
uh, the building process works and the approvals process works and the certification process works is an important way of also understanding not just how to manage risk but how to take advantage of the opportunities.